It's now my honor to introduce Charlie Earle and Joan ya Jan Yoshiwara, pardon me, um, two of our very esteemed colleagues at the State Board that also work tirelessly on behalf of community college education and higher education. Uh, Charlie Earle is the executive director of the State Board, and Jan kind of is the policy wonk, and she runs all of the instructional outreach um, of the State Board. So may we please have these two people come forward. Jean was close to saying, uh, I chirp and uh, Jan does. That's kind of the way the, this relationship works. Um, thanks for uh, having us here. Thanks for being here today. Uh, an introduction that needs to be made is a fellow who was around the policy process legislature in some junior roles uh, through the 60s, actually, uh, and has stayed in that uh, arena throughout his uh, career. Uh, but I mention that because the Community College Act was, which uh, was uh, passed in 1967 and it's a very significant base for us being here today, uh, for that matter. And that's the current board chair of the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, Jim Bricker. Jim. Uh, he has been uh, chair for the last couple of years and uh, has driven a hard bargain, I'll tell you, for uh, a lot of what we have gotten done. I, I'm lucky enough to get to represent 470,000 students who enrolled across our 34 colleges uh, last year uh, in also celebrating uh, this uh, 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 change today by way uh, of this ag agreement. Uh, you know, we've got a big problem in the country. We've got a big problem in the state, uh, represented by the reality that we've got to educate more people to higher levels. And it, 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 th that is really the short version of our state strategic plan for the community and technical college system, which, which only has three goals. E educate more people, get everyone further, so a student achievement notion, and third, innovate to make all that happen. So some several months ago, Jan came in my office and said there's some dis discussions going with WGU. I think it ought to end up in an agreement. Uh, there's some legislative activity that may accompany this. I said, so why do we want to do this? She threw my strategic plan down at me and said, because of that. <laughs> because of this WGU agreement and the reality of the relationship that they have and will grow with the community and technical college students is all about solving that big national and state problem to get more people educated to higher levels. And I'm just delighted to be a part of this. It is my uh, honor to uh, introduce to you uh, Jan Yoshiwara, who uh, uh, her fingerprints are, are are on, I mean actually on, every single major policy development that we've done in our system for the last uh, 25 years. And she's going to describe a little bit about uh, the agreement that we are so pleased today to sign. So let's give a rousing welcome to Jan Yoshua. Thank you, Charlie. Um, what an exciting day for the community and technical college students and the, and the people of Washington State to have this um, innovative opportunity available for us and uh, for the people in our, in our communities. Um, I think uh, this agreement spells out some very clear pathways to baccalaureate degrees for community and technical college transfer students. And I would like to acknowledge the work of uh, Ken Sorber and his staff and Michelle Andres on our staff in doing the work to put together to look at all of our degrees and the baccalaureate degrees at uh, WGU to spell out these pathways for our students. Um, 
Western Governors University offers a high quality program for working adults at an affordable cost. Uh, the tuition is comparable to the levels that are charged by our public baccalaureate institutions. Um, the waiver that and the tuition discount that Bob referenced not only applies to community and technical college students, but also to our faculty and staff. And I have to say we have one person here in the audience who, from our staff at the State Board, who enrolled in Western Governors University once she heard about the opportunity before the ink was even dry on the legislation, Sandy Main. And I think <laughs> uh, Sandy represents the thousands of working adults who are going to be able to earn bachelor's degrees and master's degrees here in Washington State. Um, because of this opportunity, additional opportunity that's being provided to um, our students. So I think uh, Western Governors is going to uh, be an additional important tool in the toolbox of Washington State to help us uh, uh, produce more bachelor's degrees, raise educational attainment uh, throughout the state, and to produce more skilled workers for our, uh, for our economy. Um, so the Gates Foundation has already been mentioned, but I would like to acknowledge Mark, uh, Mark Milliron here, uh, because this idea was really born in his conference room. Uh, he convened a small group of people to talk about um, leading edge innovations in higher education last year, and uh, at this idea about creating a stronger Western Governors University presence in Washington State really came out of that conversation uh, in his office. So thank you, Mark. Um, and then the uh, other group that I'd like to acknowledge here are the presidents of the community and technical colleges in Washington State. When we first started talking to the presidents about this opportunity, it was uh, a no-brainer. It was a very easy uh, sell to our presidents. And in fact, um, the reason we have this agreement structured the way it is today is that every one of our presidents wanted to personally sign this agreement as a symbol of each institution's commitment to this pathway uh, for, um, for all of our students. So at this point, I would like to invite our presidents to come up um, and Bob, and Jean, representing Western Governors University, to formally sign the Memorandum of Understanding. So this will take a long time. And you get to keep the pen. Yeah, you okay. do. Good. <laughs> I'm going to take just a minute and read it. <laughs> <laughs> 